Select the example here 25 H8 F7. So 25 means basic sites, H8 for hole and F7 for shaft. Now since we are using capital H, the fundamental deviation will be 0. And for shaft, since the letter F exists, the fundamental deviation will be there. Here IT8 represents the tolerance. Here IT7 represents tolerance. Now how you calculate this? So actually the data is provided directly to you or you can calculate it. In the rough calculation you can take IT01 as 0.3 plus 0.008 times D and D you have to take as under root of D1 into D2. Normally the st standard step size are available with us. I value you can calculate as 0.45 D to the power 1 by 3 that is cube root of D plus 0.001 times D. And here D equals to under root of D1, D2. So for this 25, you have to select two close value of D1, D2. Normally those values are provided in the gate examination. I will try to explain how to use the fundable deviation. Let's consider simple. 25 is the basic size F7. So we want a shaft with a fundable deviation equal to F and IT grade equal to 7. So 25 is the basic size. The fundamental deviation is F and F comes below H. It means that it has a negative value. So let's say the fundamental deviation for this one is minus 30 micron. And for IT7, suppose we know the value of IT7 and he will give you this value is equal to 30 micron. So we can use this information. Since uh, fundamental deviation is negative, we will construct the figure below the basic size. So first you start with basic size. And then first you draw the vertical distance equal to 30 micron below this line representing negative fundamental deviation. So this is 30 micron. Now don't write negative value because you already used the convention. And after this you have to construct a tolerance band for IT7 is equal to 30 micron. So this whole value is equal to 30 micron. Then you start writing 25 as a basic size. So 25 mm is basic size, 25 minus 30 micron, that is 0 0.03, will be 24.97. And from this value, again subtract 30 micron, that is 0 0.03. So this value will be 24.93. It means that we have a shaft whose value ranging from 24.94 to 24.97. This number represents 25 F7. So it can be written as 25. This number can return as minus 0 0.03, whereas this number can return as minus 0 0.06. So this is how these tolerances are available with us. That we have done initially the problem on clearance fit, interference fit, and transition fit. Let's consider another example here. We have 25 H8 E8. So 25 is basic size. H is for hole fundamental deviation, and E is fundamental deviation for shaft. For capital H, your fundamental deviation is always equal to 0. And for IT grade, we have tolerance. So this tolerance we can calculate. So this time I am giving you directly is 33 micron. And the fundamental deviation for E, let's say is a minus 40 micron. So this is just example. Later on we can calculate all this value. So first of all, we'll draw here one horizontal line representing the basic size of 25, 25 mm. So this line represents the 25 basic size that is 25 mm then we'll go for the hole first fundamental deviation is zero so it will start exactly above this and tolerance for this is 33 micron so maximum size of hole 25.033 and the minimum size is 25 mm now we have to construct the shaft see the shaft has a fundamental deviation e and which is negative so first of all we'll look at this minus 40 micron downward that is below the basic size and below this we will construct the tolerance grade for IT so tolerance grade for IT grade is 33 micron so the maximum size of shaft 25 minus 0 0.04 is 24.96 mm 24.96 minus 0 0.033 is 24.927 so naturally the whole tolerance of the shaft is lower than that of hole it represents the clearance fit. Every time the hole size is larger than the shaft size. If you want to find out maximum clearance, select maximum hole and minimum shaft. 
maximum clearance is 33 plus 40 plus 33 is 106 micron that is 0 0.106 mm similarly you can find out the minimum clearance also so minimum clearance is minimum size of the hole and maximum size of the shaft so that is 25 minus 24.96 itself is equal to this value itself is equal to 40 micron is minimum clearance and the minimum clearance itself is called as allowance let us consider here 50 S7 P6 so 50 is the basic size capital H is the fundamental deviation for hole is 0 P is the fundamental deviation of shaft and letter P is coming after small h so it has a positive fundamental deviation this time this is h letter so P will come above so it has a positive fundamental deviation let us assume that this is 25 micron positive value IT7 corresponds to a tolerance of 25 micron and IT6 tolerance corresponds to IT6 equals to 15 micron so these are just examples we want to find out what type of fit we can get so first of all we will go for basic size basic size of 50 mm and then we will construct the hole with the fundamental division equal to 0 so it will exactly touch to the basic size and the tolerance for hole is IT7 that equal to 25 micron so this is the tolerance representing 25 micron so the maximum size of the hole is becoming 50 plus 25 micron is 50.02 and minimum size is 50 fundamental deviation for the shaft is 25 micron that is exactly equals to the tolerance of the hole so this is fundamental deviation for the shaft that is 25 micron and above this you have to mark the tolerance for the shaft that is IT6 equal to 15 micron so we will represent this by a rectangle a tolerance of 15 micron so we have a shaft and the maximum size of shaft is 15 plus 25 that is 40 micron plus 50 is 50.04 mm minimum size is 50 plus 25 micron 50.025 mm we have only the maximum interference minimum interference is 0 so if we select the maximum size of the shaft and the minimum size of the hole then we have a maximum interference and this maximum interference is 25 plus 15 that equal to 40 micron and for minimum interference you have to select the minimum size of the shaft and the maximum size of the hole which is exactly the same value so the minimum interference is 0 calculate the fundamental deviation and tolerance and hence the limit size for the shaft and hole for D 60 mm H8 F7 and we are given the step size here so first of all we will calculate diameter D using the under root of 50 into 80 that is equal to 63.24 mm now for hole we have IT is equal to 8 and fundamental deviation for hole is equal to 0 fundamental deviation for deviation for D is equal to 63.24 come out to be minus 6.5 micron I is given as 0.45 63.24 1 by 3 plus 0 0.001 into 63.24 so this will be come out to be 1.856 micron so for IT8 we are 25 I so we are 25 into 1.856 is 46.4 micron and for IT7 we can calculate as 16 I so we are 16 into 1.856 is approximately equals to 29.69 micron so we know the fundamental deviation and the tolerance also so we'll start with for basic line so basic size is 60 mm and first fundamental deviation for hole is 0 so this represents fundamental deviation h equal to 0 and we have a tolerance for hole is h8 so 46.4 micron so this one is tolerance h8 is 46.4 micron so the minimum size is 60 and maximum size is 60.0464 mm now we'll construct the shaft first for shaft we have fundamental deviation f and which is to be negative value so this is fundamental deviation fd is equal to negative of 6.5 that is why we have marked below 6.5 micron and below this we have to mark the tolerance for the shaft is it7 it7 is 
29.69 will make it 29.7 micron uh, minimum size of the shaft is 60 minus 6.5 micron 60 minus 0 0.0065 is 59.993 minus 29.7 micron is 59.963 so these are the size of the shaft so this one is indicating the clearance fit